Hey guys, today I'm doing an eye tutorial using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, so I hope you enjoy. I'm starting off my look by priming my eyes with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I just use this to act as a base and to cover up the veins in my eyes. I have a lot of veininess that I like to cover just to give a smooth canvas for the eyeshadows. And then I'm setting it with a face powder to make it smooth. That way all of the shadows go very smooth and don't go patchy and have a nice blank canvas. And like I said earlier, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm taking the color MFEO on a Sigma E40 and I'm just going to blend that in the crease as a transition color. The transition color is just going to help all the other eyeshadows blend out and make it fade very nicely. Next, I'm taking the color Pukey on that same Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm just going to blend that into the crease, kind of where I put the MFEO color, just to deepen it up. Now I'm going to take the color Buns on a Morphe E22 blending brush and I'm going to put it in my crease as well but focus it more on the outer V uh, just to deepen it up and make a nice fade and blend. Um, you can never blend too much. Now I'm going to take the Too Faced Glitter Glue and put that down as a base for the shimmery eyeshadow that I'm going to take just so the shimmer doesn't fall down on your face or move around during the day. The shimmery shade that I decided to use is called 24-7 and I'm just going to take that with my finger and pat it on top of that glitter glue and it's just going to help it stick and be more vibrant. And once I have most of the color laid down with my finger, I'm then going to take just a flat shader brush and pat more of that color on just to make it more vibrant and also to kind of blend it out. Now that I've got the shimmery shade that I'm going to use all over the lid laid down, I'm going to take my E40 brush again with the shade Pooter. And I'm going to use that to blend out the harsh edges that the glitter glue kind of causes when you use it. Now I'm taking the IT Cosmetics number 117 brush and I'm taking the color Chip. And I'm just gonna focus that color in the very outer V just to deepen it up a little bit. Now I'm taking a Morphe E17 and taking the color Beam and using it as an inner corner highlight.
Now I'm taking this short flat definer brush that I got from e.l.f. Cosmetics and taking the color Pooter and smudging it along my lower lash line. With the same e.l.f. brush that I used before, I'm going to take the color Chip and smudge it on the outer corner of my lower lash line. Now I'm taking a Morphe E18 and I'm using that same pooter color to blend out the entire lower lash line. I'm taking an eyelash curler and curling my lashes. I have terrible lashes so I have to do this or else they stick straight down. Now I'm taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara and applying that to my upper lashes. And then I'm adding some mascara to my lower lashes as well. I'm going to apply some of the Ardell Demi Wispy eyelashes off camera. Then I'm using my favorite MAC lipstick in the color Honey Love and just applying that all over my lips. Now I'm taking the e.l.f. Plumping Lip Gloss in Peach Bellini. I actually really like this lip gloss. I usually don't like lip plumpers because they sting, but this one doesn't sting very much and it's a really pretty color. And that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it. If you did like it and want more tutorials, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.